SB Nation and Pride of Detroit proudly presents the 2012 NFL Free Agency Bonanza Show, your one-stop shop for everything pertaining to NFL free agency news, views, and events. Here is your host, Jerry Mallory. As mentioned, this is Jerry Mallory for SB Nation and PrideDetroit.com. It's the NFL Free Agency 2012 Bonanza. I know, it's hard keeping up. Who's going where? You've got to follow this website, uh, this mobile application, uh, this TV show, this piece of news. It's difficult. Well, you've come to the right place. Today's show, which will be highlighted by answering the all-important free agency question, where Peyton Manning will end up, uh, we'll give you not just that, but we'll be let you know where some of the top free agents will be going. Now, uh, we'll get right into it. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers will be making a big splash. We've got them signing Super Mario Williams and Vincent Jackson. They've been trying to bolster their defensive line for some time. They drafted Gerald McCoy. They drafted Adrian Claiborne. They drafted Daquan Bowers. But for some reason, they still can't get to the quarterback. Well, they have the money and they have the need and they will go ahead and succeed. Hey, that rhyme. They will be picking up Super Mario Williams to bolster their defensive line for years to come. Vincent Jackson, simple. Uh, they need a good receiver. Uh, Josh Freeman has the arm to go deep. Vincent Jackson is one of the best deep threats in the NFL. You can move Mike Williams to the number two wide receiver spot, and boom. That is a potent offense all of a sudden with LeGarrette Blunt, Kellen Winslow Jr., Vincent Jackson, and I can see them returning to their glory of 10-6 and six just a couple of years ago. Next up is... Mike Wallace, he's staying in Pittsburgh. No matter what the price tag will be, they will match that offer, and he will remain a stiller, him and Antonio Brown, the new breed of stiller wide receivers. Carl Nix is underrated in my opinion. He's a great guard. He's a guy that on the interior can make things happen. He's going to the Kansas City Chiefs. They have been known for having a very stout offensive line, uh, Brian Waters, this guy and that guy. And it's allowed them to have a good running game year after year. Whether it's Priest Jones, or the Priest Holmes, excuse me, Thomas Jones, uh, Jamal Charles. They want to bring back Jamal Charles, who had a season-ending injury against, that's right, our Detroit Lions. See, Lions, get it? He had a season-ending injury. Well, they want to bring him back, give him a nice toy uh, in the form of Carl Nix. They have the money also. Uh, the Saints, they're going to be cash-strapped between uh, re-signing Marcus Colston, which they just did, and then they're going to re-up with Drew Brees. They can't bring back everybody. Unfortunately, Nix leaves the fold, and he becomes a Kansas City Chief. Uh, there's some other guys. You got Matt Flynn. I've got him going to the Miami Dolphins. Uh, he earned a big contract uh, by uh, one huge game against uh, our Detroit Lions, and it hurt. That, plus his college career at LSU, uh, he has a, a decent resume, although short in terms of NFL experience but he's going to cash in and he's going to become, uh, yet again, another backup from Green Bay that's going to start somewhere else and potentially uh, do big things. You had Matt Hasselback who backed up Brett Favre. Now, Aaron Rodgers didn't leave, but he backed up Brett Favre. Now, Matt Flynn, the backup to Aaron Rodgers, is going to go off to Miami and he's going to do big things. Now, a caveat, if Miami lands Peyton Manning, then obviously they, they would not sign Matt Flynn. Then you have cornerback and Cortland Finnegan. I say this one for last, as Detroit fans, uh, we know we need help in the defensive secondary. And he's a guy that uh, he played uh, for Jim Schwartz in Tennessee. We have a track record. We brought in Tulloch uh, last year. We brought in Vanden Bosch the year before. We bring in guys from Jim Schwartz's system. Well, Lion fans, uh, I'm sorry. He's not coming to Detroit. We don't have the money. Uh, we did restructure some contracts. And Dominican Sue, uh, Matt Stafford, Nate Burleson. But we have enough dough to probably bring back Tulloch, hopefully, bring back Backus, bring back Wright. I've got Cortland Finnegan, and a bit of a surprise, going to the Buffalo Bills. Uh, they've addressed their front line, bringing in Marcel Darius last year. Uh, they re up with Stevie Johnson. They re up with Fitzpatrick during the year. They want to get a little bit better in the secondary. They have the money to spend, and they're going to make a big push and land the guy that we wanted. It's going to hurt. But Cortland Finnegan will be a Buffalo Bill.